great. Great. Great, great. Yeah, break the ornament. The resolution isn't the best because I couldn't see Bucktar there. I ended up crashing into him. Alright, let's try this again. Is he gonna show up? Oh, now he doesn't show up. No, no, that'd be great! Oh, man, the 
next version I can do that. There's some flaws here. Try me up the wall. Original Capcom version. By two tribes. This game is actually really good for um, Game Boy Color. It is like the template of effort that all Game Boy Color games should have strived to be. I mean, the thing does 56 fucking colors. Alright? Yeah, this is what happens when someone puts effort. It's not the best game in the world. You know, I just gave like a 9 or a 10 on a 10 scale because two tribes really outdid themselves, in my opinion. You know, the game ain't the best on Wii or Wii U, but I don't know if it's on any other um, consoles or systems, platforms, or formats, but uh, this version is really, really good. I mean, it looks like a Genesis game. And that's my point. 56 colors. That's 8 less than the Genesis. Just because it's 8 bit doesn't mean the games had to look like, look really bad. At all. I mean, even really good games like this, Donkey Kong Country, um, well, Super Mario Brothers Deluxe, but that's a 16 color game. But you see what I'm getting at? Uh, with Game Boy Color, games didn't, didn't at all have to be bad. Yet so many were. Ugh. So many. Or they had odd color schemes. Same with Neo Geo Pocket Color. Just the oddest color schemes. Now, how do I select the thing here, okay? I already got killed once by that piece of shit. When I play thinking games like this, so my mind wanders. There's gonna be a way to select his abilities. Toki Tori has a handful of abilities. over here. Going, going up. Alright. Okay, here we go. Let's give this another shot. There was some tumbling. No, no, not that button. Um, no, there's some way. Yeah, a little problem here. Yeah. 